guys, this is your girl Sira. Um, I promised that I would take a moment to do a vlog to share my Gospel Fest 2014 experience and why I am so humbled by how God was able to use my ministry on Sunday. Um, and to be very honest, it's more about how he ministered to me through the ministry um, beyond what he also did for you guys, which was amazing and I was just blown away. But um, leading up to Gospel Fest 2014, I've, I had quite a few challenges, health ways. Um, I've been battling with like chronic fatigue and chronic um, sinusitis for a while and just like Tuesday before Gospel Fest won Awesome Danny Hill, I got sick again for like maybe this is probably the third or fourth time for the year and it's crazy because you don't understand why I'm constantly getting you know catching colds or you know why my immune system is so low or what's not we're working on it to see what's going on but it was really frustrating because it's like I need to be in my best voice to be able to perform at my maximum not just my best voice but in my you know overall health I need to be a hundred and twenty percent maybe 200 percent because I really wanted to be able to go there and give my all and make sure that the ministry and the performance you know was amazing and so getting sick like a couple days just you know a few days before the big event was crazy and this is crunch time this is the week before so this means constant rehearsals grand rehearsals I mean intense rehearsals like four and five hour long rehearsals making sure you get stuff together what's not and you know I started to get a little discouraged and a little down because I was saying well if I can't get better in time my voice isn't gonna be good enough for Sunday and I and you know I was like well how would I feel if I have to pull out whatever nonetheless I, ha I know I had a lot of people praying for me my family my friends you know my husband I was praying for myself just really asking God to like work a miracle and to touch me and to ensure that I can be in a place you know in the best health that he needs me to be in so that I can minister and that's the thing in my mind I thought I needed to be a particular way for God to use me you know mightily when in truth and in fact he can use me even if I'm sick which is pretty much what he did and that's why it's so amazing when I got on stage I was still having challenges my voice wasn't as strong as I wanted it to be you know my throat felt a bit sore and my voice felt really heavy and I was like Lord I don't know but I just remember praying I was like Lord this is for you use me take my voice and do what you need to do and he he came through when I stood there and I opened my mouth to let out that first note it was like yes I really felt like it wasn't just me but there was this extra power I felt behind it just coming forth and pushing me and I felt confident in that and to be able to step on that stage then and to just let it go and just have fun and then to feel so overwhelmed by my second song by the time we got into um, I Love You which is um, you guys would have been privileged to hear that for the very first time no one has ever heard that outside of the scratch vocals you know and the writing that I did in the studio for it but to be able to take that song and to minister and to sing and to see you guys catch on to it so quickly and to you know understand the essence of what it means you know was amazing and it's from there that I really started to feel very overwhelmed by the time we got into love me to life child it was all over I could no longer contain my emotions I was like keep it together Sarah keep it together just sing just sing and I'm trying to sing the bridge and it's just tears and I'm like ah this is crazy but good crazy because it was like God I'm so thankful my tears are saying God I'm so thankful not just for this opportunity but to have you prove yourself strong to me yet again you know and to see you guys you guys standing there singing word for word not just like love me to lie like not you know it wasn't it wasn't surface 
it was deep the convictions that you guys had amazing and it showed me that you also embrace this song on a very personal level and that blesses my heart to see that this thing that was birthed in me you know is going forth and you guys are living it every single day so and to see those posts, did I mention the posters again? I have to mention the posters again because to look down to see those signs with the lyrics and oh, it was it was amazing. So thank you guys so much. I just wanted to share, you know, why you know this this Gossip Fest 2014 experience meant so much to me. And now you know. Keep me in your prayers. You know, I still have a long way to go. You know, this is just the beginning. And I'm just so excited and so like just ready for whatever the next steps from here will be as we move forward with this with this vision, with this dream. Because you know what? There's no limit. What? Yes, there's no limit. And speaking of no limit, let me just big up Mr. Ignite right now who jumped on that track and just like slayed it. Oh my goodness. I am so honored to have him feature on my latest single no limit amazing guys you need to check him out go check him out he's all over social media twitter youtube instagram facebook all at i am ignite i g y n t e check him out hit him up follow him he's doing big things as well and shout out also to my other local bajan artists my brother and my sisters john yard and larex and nicovia guys y'all were also amazing i was blown away i was ministered to i was touched we represented we did good so this is the beginning for all of us and i know we're gonna go many 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 places god is going to be able to just use your ministry and bless people all over the world and i'm just so proud of you guys and so happy to see that you also got this opportunity and you made it work you know you you made it work well so i love you i love all my fellow artists i love you my sierra crew keep supporting us and keep praying for us as we keep doing what we know we've been called to do and just living our lives to serve god and to you know make great music for you guys <laughs> so that's it until next time this is your girl sierra i love you guys bye